Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca here. And today is so much fun because I am going to show you the latest Alter Ego launch, the palette that they are dropping, I think today when this video goes up. I will have links below and discount code. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but they did send it to me for PR and I am wearing it so you can see I've got lots of shades on my lids. I paid special attention to the golds and kind of bronzy shades and greens and yeah, it's special. Alter Ego is a very affordable company. You can buy their palettes online. They have expanded their line for now with brushes and lip products and they sent me a bunch of things I'm gonna show you. And I have shared palettes in the past that they are basically duplicating high-end. Uh, this one does mimic a Natasha Denona. So I'll let you see for yourself. I don't have that though to show you, but you'll know. <laughs> uh, last year, the, the name of this year's palette is Artemis, or this summer. And last year was Goddess, and I loved this palette. This was so much fun, still do, still reach for it. It is a dupe to the Natasha Denona Gold palette. And um, Artemis though means the hunter. I don't really, I'm not up on my Greek mythology so well. I think it's Greek mythology because there's like Norse and, right? Anyway, he's the hunter and check it out. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. And yes, it is. If you look, look up online, I'll pop in a picture though of the Natasha Denona and you can see that it is, um, yeah, they're duplicates. But you know, it's its own thing and it's not... There you go. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but like I said, 28 shades, this is the back. Um, so it has like a little shade map, I love that. And they're just buttery and pigmented. The There's duochrome, there's some shimmers, there's metallics and mattes, and they are beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna show you a little bit close up. The, um, yeah, it's just an excellent, excellent, fun palette. There are some shades in here I find to be very unique. Um, and then of course there's like, you know, your russet browns and cinnamon kind of burnt orange shades. And I tried not to do that today because I know that sometimes I do that a lot. I feel like I've been doing that a lot. So I'm gonna do some inserts of this eye look and how I got it, and you can see for yourself. So I did try this eyeshadow primer on my right lid only, and you'll see if there was a slight difference in application. I think it did make the shadow a little more dense, a little more opaque when I brushed it on, but I feel like the side without primer is still performing well. But I did one side only just because I, can have a sensitivity to shadow primers regardless of brand or price and I wanted to kind of have a control group and just put it on one eye and see okay is this if in a few hours my eye starts itching or watering I'll know if it's the primer now if both eyes start itching and watering then it could be you know a component in the shadow right I mean this is what we deal with all the time I mean you just you don't know it doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's just everybody is different and everybody has different reactions. Not wearing lashes because you know I'm just so just I they intimidate me and scare me and I'll wear them sometimes for special occasion but I was feeling like oh if I ruin this look and it takes me longer to film I'll just be so mad. <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't pop them on but I love how they're dramatic but I feel like they're also very wearable. The two that I'm really kind of in love with, this one is Posh, and I just think that that is such a good, you know, like when you want drama and you don't want it to look too much like a drag queen, um, and this is Royal. I feel like, let me just say this, I say that, but honestly, anytime I see people on Instagram and uh, accounts that share people's looks and makeup artistry, and they've got these dramatic false lashes, I think it looks amazing and gorgeous and fabulous. So when I say drag queen, I just feel like that's how I look myself. Like I almost feel like I look like a caricature or kind of comical and I don't want to, um, you know, but anyhow, that's just my own little, we all have our 
like uh, insecurities. All right. Let me share with you the lips because I don't think these are new. Well, let me check. I the shades might be new, but I know they've had liquid lips on their site before. And these liquid lips are just, uh, they are such a good marriage to the palette because I feel like, you know, you can, it, I feel like even though it's summer, people are wearing like these dark browns. Also, I feel like for darker skin tones, this just works so well. Um, they're matte, but they're not dry. And, you know, I've been really into gloss and kind of a semi-matte or satin lately, but this matte does not bother me at all. And they're so affordable. The shade I'm wearing today, it, <laughs> it's called Crush. I'm gonna put it here. So this is Crush. And it's got like a coral little touch. I like it. And then let me just show you them all. They have such a 90s vibe, such a kind of, you know, you could be kind of vampy, you could just be kind of, they're great. So which one's this one? Sorry, I didn't say it before. Ah, infamous, yes, this is Infamous. Jealousy. I feel like we're dealing with, you know, like the seven sins or whatever. Uh, vanity. Is this a David Fincher film? Ooh, Vanity's cool. It's got kind of this red. I wanted to look a little more dramatic today. I'm wearing kind of a lot of bronzer, a lot of highlighter. Just wanted to really up my game, you know? Oh, I like this one. It's kind of a cinnamon shade. It is called Intrigue. That's really cool. And then the last one I have is Euphoria. And this one's kind of a mauve. This one is pretty cool. Like I feel like the one I'm wearing today and this Euphoria are kind of like my summer shades before I go to fall. So Fun. Let me talk about the eyeshadows while you can watch me put them on. <laughs> and the shades are, I started with Entice and I wanted to use that. It's a matte shade and I put that all over my lid. And then I uh, went in with Quiver in the crease and um, but I also used shades Lure, Scent, and Obscure, and they're just so pretty. Ambush is like so unique because I lined it with my eye, I lined my eyelid with it, and I thought it was black, but it almost has like a greenish, bluish cast to it. So it's just so much fun. Let me give you guys some swatches. I'm just gonna swatch it on my arm. You can see for yourself. So greens are really hard in my opinion. Green shades are difficult. They just, they can look weird and patchy and I just, I'm telling ya. But this palette, that's why I decided I wanted to go in with some of these darker shades and they were quite cooperative. So you can see just, these are the bottom two rows and the shades, this shade and this shade, those are those dark shades that look black in the palette, but they're not. So now you can understand what I'm talking about. So it's just so much fun, different, you know, if you're into this, they started a brush line last year and um, I do love their shadow brushes. I find them to be easy to work with, soft, um, cruelty free and affordable and I just love them. My favorite is number two and number three and they look kind of the same but number two is actually kind of flat. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what I was using in my crease. It's got just that great little bit of um, flatness so that you can kind of do the whole windshield wiper in the crease bit and it's just a ton of fun. 
ton of fun. So there you go, yeah. Um, and again, like these shades provoke and scent. Scent especially, that is a tech, like a texture one. It's just, oh, uh, it's got like a pink and a gold to it. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. But I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Alter Ego. I really appreciate them sending this to me. I feel like I can't not use these kinds of products as being a frugal person, makeup person, right? Uh, <laughs> so I appreciate their support in my channel. All right, guys, I'm gonna list everything below and um, discount codes, like I said, so you know what I've done and let me know what you think. And if you're excited about this like I am, I think I would totally, even if I wasn't sent this, I would totally buy it. I would, this is, this is fun. It's, if you haven't gotten like a good sort of giant palette of tons of colors and step out of your comfort zone, I think this is the one to do it with just because it's so affordable. So I don't think you'll regret it. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and give that bell a ring. It doesn't ring, but if you hit the notification bell, you will know when I post and then you won't miss anything because YouTube is weird and the internet is huge. Also, give me a thumbs up because that tells my boss I'm giving it, I'm doing a good job. Yes, my boss is the Google machine, so. Uh, that's everything. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.